Hi guys and welcome to Design with Canva. This is On Who You Are. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create an amazing logo in Canva and you don't need to use another sophisticated software to do that. And this logo is going to be super professional that you can use it for any other thing. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, you should do that. But we're going to use this particular logo to create an amazing brand and we're going to be posting that in series so you don't want to miss it and you want to really be a part of it. So what you need to do is hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Tap the bell notification. I want you to be the first person to see this video when we release it. So let's start designing. The first thing you want to do right here is to Good thoughts. I wanted to put a title to your design. So I'm just going to change the name of my design. I'm going to call it Mac Leaves. So that's what I'm calling my design, Mac Leaves. And I'm going to go ahead to type in Mac Leaves right here. So I'm going to use this font. And then I'm going to have it like this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tap, type Mac. So uh, absolutely, I just want it to be, in, uh, to be like this. So it's going to be Mac. And this is going to be L, this is also going to be, this is how I want it to be. So it's going to be Mac Leaves. So we're, we're done like this. And then the next thing you want to do is because of what we're going to be creating, we're going to use this text to create a logo. We're going to just space everything and you're going to know why we're doing this later. I'm going to also increase this. I want to point something out here. Forget about the dimension of this particular design. You can actually resize it if you want to. And in my case, I'm going to resize it to 1080 by 10 by 1080. So if you're not a person who likes designing with 1080 and you always see me design, you know my favorite is 3200 by 3200. So I'm just going to say resize it and that's it. Boom. Okay, so I can as well increase this as I want. We're done with that. So the next thing we want to do is to go ahead and create, choose a particular typeface that we want to use. Now I'm going to be using Sinzel and it's a free font, so you can actually use it for your design. Wonderful. So this is pretty good, it's really awesome. And that's it. I'm going to use this font right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the effects and I'm going to use hollow because I like that effect so well. All you need to do is add the thickness to this and you can just make this bold too. <laughs> bold is not going to make sense here. Okay, so we can just say, we can just go to effects and we can just say none and we can just make it this way. Oh, like this is really good. And if we put it this way, uh, this is not really going to work right here. So what we're going to do now is go to this part and say, take it away. And we just want it like this and just this is cool and this is exactly what we want to do. Now you have your, you have this just here as you would like it to be and it's really good, super awesome. So since all of the fonts are more like cup lock, so we'll just transfer it to cup lock. And I'm going to come over here to say color for this font, for the brand we're gonna be working on is this. So this is the color for the font we're going to be working on. You can actually check that out if you want to. Now we have this here and we're good to start. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go to download and I'm going to choose this file to be downloaded as PNG and choose transparent background and I'm just going to say choose the page that I want it on page one. I say done and I'm just going to say download. So what you're going to do is download this, bring it back into Canva and you'll join me in the design. Okay, so right now my font is ready and I've uploaded it back into Canva because I downloaded it as a transparent background. I'm not sure if that's really a transparent background, but I just have to check. If it's not, I will have to do it again. Okay, so if we put this on the yellow right here, so you can see it's automatically, yeah, it's really a sweet background. Now that's good. All you need to do is resize this because that's what I did. And then you just need to follow the steps to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to crop this. I'm also going to crop this. Now we've got this. I'm going to also create this one. That's why I wanted the C. I'm also going to get the C out of that. Now this is the type of logo that you can create and no one can claim it. Okay, so you've got this right here. You've got leaves. So you just go ahead and do the same thing for all of it. 
and that's what it's going to do. Okay, so we've got this and we are really okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we're just going to play around with this and we're just going to make this so let's see here, I like that. And I'm going to go over to element, I'll choose this and what I'm going to do is just make it this way. Then I'm going to put it just right here. Okay. Uh, I think it's pretty much it's better this way. And then I think it's really good. So I'm just using my arrow keys and the mouse to uh, set it properly, and I can just reduce it. And what I'm going to do is just drag it up like this. So this is what I wanted to do. Now this is the same size with the leaves, so that's okay, I didn't have a problem with that. And this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce this, like this, and put it right here. And then I'm just going to take the S and bring it also right here. Now you can see that we are going forward to creating this particular logo that we could use for our brand. Now. It's good, I like it. I'm just going to push it to touch the L a little bit. And this is good like this. This is what I want. So you can just go ahead and just play around with that until you get exactly what you are looking for. For me, I have what I want already. Alright, so it's good and so good. Alright, now we have our MAC leaves. It's totally awesome. This is really a premium brand, don't you think so? Alright, doing this with Canva from start to finish. Now the next thing we want to do is we're going to play with this very well. And what we're going to do is we are going to just slice it this way. And we are going to delete this one. What we're going to do is just bring this one back here. Yes. Yeah, that's where it's supposed to be. I'm pushing it a little bit, raising it to the top, and then we have the V right there. And what we're going to do next is we are going to look for an element here called leaf. Are we going to look for a leaf? And that is what we're going to just take that particular leaf, and we are going to just bring it right, right there. Now we are going to just look for something that will certainly complement that leaf over there and we are going to put it there to fit appropriately what we want. I like this one. So we're going to use it. So for this particular one, what we want to do is change every single part of it to be green. We, we don't want it to have different colors, so we want it to be green like this. That is perfect, that's pretty good, that's really awesome. What we're going to do next is maybe flip it. When we flip it, so we have something like this. Now we got this leaves right here, and we are just going to increase this and play with that. If it doesn't work, we are going to be able to find something else that will work for it. But don't worry, we got this covered. So here we've got our leaves, and we've got it like this. This. So all we're going to do is push it a little bit this way. We're going to push it a little bit this way. So we can have that leaf just go down like this and also fit in like this. So here we have created our own unique logo and you can still go ahead to play with this as you would like to. But we have our logo right here created and what we can just go ahead to do is we are going to play with something else again and say this right here. We're going to just reduce it like this and then what we're going to do next is go to our text. We're going to add, we're just going to tie R right there and then we're also still going to choose a cell and I like it. Really good, and then I'm also gonna make it bold. So I'm gonna make it bold, that's it, and it's going to be right in the middle of this guy here. So I'm just going to increase it like this, 
and I'm also going to change the color to this blue. I'm going to reduce it like this. I'm going to have it so so down. And I think if I also increase it, I will be able to. Okay, that's not working. So we've got that. I just group it. And that is it. So you've got this little registered icon right here. So you got this. You got it, you got it, you got it. Now your logo is really good. Okay, so you can see how you go about creating logos for a particular brand. And if you still want to do awesome stuff and you feel this is what you want, just go ahead and replicate this one here. So you can see that we've got this and you also want to have like all the versions of your logo. So it's very simple. Just go over here and convert every single thing to a black. That's what you should do. Go change everything to black so that you can have a your logo can have the black version as well. Alright, now that is totally how you can also use text to create a professional looking logo in Canva and you don't even need to have sophisticated websites to be able to do that. Now with this one, we are going to change the font to be, this is going to be a super black and this one is going to be this type of black and this one is going to be another type of black, maybe like this. Yep, so this way it gives it our cooler feel of what the logo is looking like and then all we just have here is to ungroup everything this one should come and have this particular black color here and then the one outside is also going to have the same black color now this is it we're done with our logo all we're going to do is bring it back in the middle right here and i'm just going to copy this one Gonna just copy this one like this and all of this. We'll cut it, bring this one back to the middle. I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to paste this one right here. Now you can see we have our wonderful logo and we can use this to play around with so many things that we want to do on our brand. So for this particular thing here, I could just I'll pick and say, I could pick, um, I could just type avocado and we will see a lot of it here. I could just type cut out and we're going to see if we have other types of uh, avocado that we can use for our logo. Now, it's just for a background, which is not really necessary for this particular tutorial, but just go ahead and try to see what you can do for yourself like this and work with this particular idea and you will see that you're coming up with wonderful and amazing ideas for, for your brand. That's all for this particular tutorial. I'm going to see you guys in the next video where I will be showing you how to use this particular design to create a label for your brand. I, I want to know if that's going to be something that you're going to like to see. If that's what you're going to like to see, if you are going to really like to see that, I want to see it in the comments. Just put that in the comments. Let me know that that's what you would like to see. Tell me that you would like to see it in the comments. And then we're done with this. I'm just going to add one more thing here. I'm just going to add Canva and I'm just gonna add it here. So this logo is designed in Canva. Alright, so that is it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys for joining and I will see you guys next time. Until then, I dab.